My name is Pascal Auclair and um, I'm from Quebec, Canada. I teach uh, here at uh, beautiful Spirit Rock. So I wanted to talk a little bit about um, difficult emotions in, uh, in a way, what I really want to do, I think, is uh, express gratitude for this practice, really, that maybe is the core of what I, I want to say, and it's related to difficult emotions. And I just wanted to relate to you how, um, how I've learned to, uh, one way that I've learned to uh, be with difficult emotion that I saw grow with the practice over the years and that I find so beautiful these days and appreciate a lot and feel a lot of gratitude for my teachers and the teachings. So, uh, let's say there is um, you know, some kind of a little anxiety or bigger anxiety, some, something difficult, uh, often felt, actually um, I make this gesture because it's often felt for me in the in the chest area, it could be for you more in the throat or in the belly, but often the emotion, a difficult one, find a place in the body in this uh, area. But um, what I've uh, seen developed in my practice is this, uh, so let's take the example of anxiety or fear. So I recognize the presence of, um, of uh, fear and now it's almost, I think, automatic, that it, it comes really quickly. It's something uh, very available now. So when there is difficulty in the heart, I'll just realize, become conscious that uh, it's not easy to feel this emotion. So often how it shows up, it's, uh, it's going to be a few words and it's going to say like, oh, oh my love, you're confused. It's not easy to feel. It's not easy for a human being to feel confusion, or to feel fear. And I don't know if just in these few words you recognize the kind of the presence or invitation for compassion to arise. And often that's what I, I, I can feel now is that when there's the recognition of a difficult emotion, with the recognition comes this kind of um, holding or attending to with uh, friendliness and ease and I can uh, really feel both the, the difficulty, the anxiety and the repercussions in the body but also uh, this kind of, and I see it as an image, as a space of, uh, of uh, caring and I see with practice and I have seen uh, grow this space grow and grow, so much so that uh, sometimes I find myself uh, feeling an emotion that is not, or a mind state that is not so pleasant, but there's so much caring that I find myself kind of con content in a way, or in awe maybe, like wow, this heart can contain so much, this heart has space for that. And this, for me, is very, very beautiful that, that uh, this uh, grew through practice, through attending, showing up again uh, with the difficult emotions. And I find that's really one of the great gifts of this uh, practice for me, this ability to be with the difficult in a loving way, so much so that often the lovingness takes um, more space in consciousness is more palpable or um, tasted than the actual difficulty. So I don't know if there's something you can do with that.